What's going on everybody? So I decided to make this video because our my comment section on the last video and the Reforged Stone video specifically was an absolute chaos. Uh, people didn't know the information. People were just being outright rude. People were just being uh, you know, classic YouTube comment toxicity. Um, and then some people just had genuine questions. So I'm gonna answer some of the genuine questions out there. And I appreciate all of you out there that were asking genuine questions. And then I'm gonna call out some of the people that were just absolutely ridiculous. Before I do that, we're gonna jump into Battlegrounds and showcase what I was talking about when I was talking about the 66% PvP debuff. So first off, I'll showcase it outside of PvP by equipping a Echoing Shade here. So Echoing Shade is a legendary gem, um, and this is going to give you a good idea on what is reduced in PvP versus what is not and how much it's reduced. So first thing is we're going to basic attack here and try to summon a Shadow Clone in order for us to see the duration. There we go. You can literally just see the duration, and I don't need to do uh, anything fancy for this because it's very, very clear. 66% reduction is massive, and you'll be able to see it when we enter this pa uh, practice battleground mode, which you can easily do yourself if you enter the Rite of Exile. And if we enter here and I start spamming some basics, you will see an immediate difference in the duration of Shadow Clone. Look at that. Completely, completely different. Now, if I were to showcase a timer here, what it ends up being, uh, again, my timing skills were not perfect uh, outside of this, it ended up being about 66%. Uh, and the reason why I arrived at this conclusion, because mine ended up being about uh, a 60% reduction, but my timing was a little off. And I'll go ahead and showcase a Reddit post after this that kind of confirms what I'm saying. There is a specific debuff at the top of your screen showcasing which reduced, guys. There's a lot of comments out there saying I was just completely you know, making this up and I'm just completely lying because it says it right there. Legendary gems, magic, and breakthrough affixes and other percentage effects. What is magic and breakthrough affixes? Well, those are right here, magic, right here, magic affixes. And then down here, this one's a little bit harder because it says bonus, but these are breakthrough affixes um, from my understanding in the game. Therefore, these are also reduced by the same amount that legendary gems are reduced um, given that they are all, all, all under the same debuff. So that means that all of these are reduced by 66%. I'm not sure what else uh, you know you all are getting at. I don't know if you all didn't do your research. I didn't know if you all just kind of didn't know, asking a genuine question, or you're just trying to incite something, which, you know, I mean, it is classic in YouTube comment section. But if I were to hop over here, this is the Reddit post that I was talking about. Um, this is someone that actually tested this as well. Uh, they used the same echoing shade method, I think. Um, and then they also tested, I don't know what they did outside of that, but they did a lot of testing from what, I've, uh, what I can understand. This is something I went over two months ago in a dedicated video. And you can see here, Bottled Hope uh, is the damage reduction. You can see, all this is a, is a Reddit post. I'll link um, to the comment section down below or the description down below for this Reddit post if you wanna check it out yourself. Basically, there's a lot of people out there that have confirmed what I'm saying and then I went and tested it myself after I read this Reddit post and then I've confirmed what they're saying. So again, this is kind of very, very simplistic to understand. It literally says it on the screen. There isn't really any debate about that. Um, so just give you an idea and I wanted to call out a few people as well as answer some of the genuine questions in the comment section The first thing is Eric S here. This guy is just actually funny. I thought it was hilarious the Guy said the video is so bad with a constant reference to the imaginary 66% debuff to these roles It's almost comical that you would think that makes any sense And I actually laughed at this one and I said it's comical that this comment exists because they are literally commenting without zero information about what they're talking about and They say it again. They have two comments talking about how I'm just making this stuff up and we have Fernando here with a genuine question. There's a bunch of other toxic comments. I'm not gonna go through all of them because um, I already removed most of them. There's no reason that this should be in the comment section of people just completely uh, lying and just attacking other people in the comment section, which is very strange. Usually I'm okay with it because uh, you know I think it's hilarious seeing you all uh, you know drop an awesome comment on there. But um, if you start attacking some other people, that's not okay. But they say, why don't you give the actual number where are you getting this nerf information from? I showcased it in the video. So hopefully that gives you an idea, Fernando. Um, the other one, a couple other ones, Gnome says 66% doesn't make any sense. Uh, it should be, or it's gonna be way too low and the correct percentage on the ability. Why don't they use the correct percentage on the ability? or the gear piece rather. And the reason why I think they do this is because keep in mind that there are some PVE and PVP affixes on there. And so if you happen to have a PVP specific affix, uh, affix here that's reduced already in the tool tip, but then all the PVE ones are not, well, 
guess what? Your PVE ones are going to be giving you the wrong information. It's going to make everything more confusing. Um, again, you could do it, but it's just, it's, it's a little bit more confusing, I think. I think in general, it's just really easy to say everything's reduced by 66% um, in the top left in specifically Battlegrounds and Vault and Rite of Exile, not in the Ancient Arena from what I understand. Um, and then it says, uh, this guy says, where is it say reduced by 66%? I thought only legendary gem effects are reduced in PvP. There you go. Now you know. And Stefano here, it is not only legendary gems. It literally says it in the tooltip. I'm not sure what else to tell you guys. It's literally there. Um, you guys just didn't read it or you didn't know. Um, either way, hopefully that helps. Um, I know some of you had general, genuine questions like as, uh, as a little wrap here. And then we have a couple people asking about the family attributes here, I believe up here. Do you have any idea if the family bonus will stack? I'm not sure, you know, we haven't tested it, so I can't say for certain, uh, but I imagine that you can. So you get a maximum of 12%. However, keep in mind that it'll be separate instances is what I imagine. So it'll be like a six chances of 2% to proc, uh, which is essentially the same thing, um, but a little bit different. So just keep that in mind. Um, and then, Right here, is it true that damage to players increase decrease will be reduced by a further 66%? Again, it says it in the tooltip, so I don't see why it wouldn't be the case. Um, again, it says it in the tooltip. It's a very small damage increase uh, slash decrease, and so it's hard to test in a PvP scenario like that because damage is already variable. And so you would have to have literally tens, if not hundreds of thousands of attacks um, because the damage is already a 10% variable sometimes. So that's very difficult to test. Um, I do not have the time to sit there and hit for 100,000 times. Oftentimes my character will kill them, so it's even more difficult. I need them to use the exact same ability. I need them to hit me 100,000 times. It's not gonna happen um, in terms of the time. And then a couple other people asked about how it works. Well, basically the family attributes, you need to get three of the same family attribute and it will unlock the bonus family attribute on here. So keep that in mind. Hopefully that gives you an idea. I did want to make this video and I did want to call out the comment section specifically because guys, I've played League of Legends for about seven, eight years at this point. I'm a grandmaster player in that game, uh, or at least I was before I stopped playing uh, as much. And that game's community is toxic. And you know what? Diablo Immortal is just as bad um, as I've been playing this game. And you know, the part of the reason is because of those types of comments where you're immediately just uh, flaming someone or just absolutely in your ignorance just completely attacking someone regardless if it's me you know if other people i've seen it in game out of game i've seen it in the comment section i've seen it in discords all that type of stuff just take a second ask a genuine question or propose a actual statement rather than just completely uh digging deep in your own opinion so Again, I invite everyone to go ahead and drop a comment down below if this was helpful or if you have any other questions, maybe I'll make another video about this. Um, but I did want to uh, just address some of the comments because I do think they're kind of funny for me personally, uh, but only if they're at me. You know, if there's someone at, at someone else, I'm going to remove it because that's just rude. All right. Hopefully that helps, guys, and uh, hopefully that addresses some of your questions. Um, hopefully, again, you enjoyed the video. I thought this would be a little bit more fun one because I thought I'd share some of the funny comments with all of you. So hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll see you for the next one.